Hi, I'm Candace Harris, and I'm here today to do the Winchester Public Schools CDL bus training. I have my keys in my possession. My tire gauge is in my possession. My seatbelt cutter is within reach, and my parking brake is set. On the side of the bus, we're gonna go to the storage compartment. My storage compartment opens and closes securely. There's no signs of vandalism or tampering. I'm going to get my chalk blocks out. And I'm gonna set my chalk blocks one inch in front and one inch behind the dual tire for my air brakes test later. Starting with my amber turn signal light it is securely mounted. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There's no condensation or discoloration. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My side view mirror is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. I'm gonna open my hood latch for under the hood later. My amber turn signal light is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My cross view mirror is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. Starting at the top, I have my five amber clearance lights, two red loading lights, two amber warning lights, two clear headlight assemblies with amber turn signals. They are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. Seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My eight inch school bus lettering and reflective tape is securely mounted, not worn, torn, or frayed. My windshield is securely mounted. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no illegal stickers. My inspection sticker and license plate are clearly visible, up to date. They are not worn, torn, or frayed. The license plate's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The windshield wipers are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The rubber has no sign of wear, and I will test the tension when I get in the bus. My cross arm moves out freely. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My bus looks level. There is no black, shiny oil, pink or green antifreeze or coolant, red transmission or power steering fluid underneath the bus. My cross view mirror is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts or screws. It is not cracked, chipped or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn or frayed. My amber turn signal light is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. So I'm gonna open my hood latch. My side view mirror is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My stop sign and reflective tape are clean, clear, and visible. They are not worn, torn, or frayed. 
My four red lights are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My stop sign moves freely. My bladder opens and closes, deflates. It is not worn, torn, or frayed. My wiring is securely mounted, not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My amber turn signal light is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My battery storage compartment is right here and the on and off switch is located right here. Starting underneath the hood and go around to the left side. Starting with the top of my hood, there's nothing to indicate leaking. My fan moves freely. It's not missing any fan blades. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken. And it does not hit my shroud. My serpentine belt is securely mounted. It is not worn, torn, or frayed, and it gives no more than three-fourths inch of give. My belt-driven alternator and water pump are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken. The hoses and wiring are not worn, torn, frayed, burnt, or leaking. My coolant or antifreeze tank is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. It is at adequate level. The cap is secure. My hoses are not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My windshield wiper fluid tank is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. It is at adequate level. The cap is secure. The wires and hoses are not worn, torn, frayed, burnt, or leaking. On the right side of the bus, starting with my fuse box, it is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt, and I have extra fuses if I need them. My wire box is securely mounted not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My airline hoses and couplings are securely mounted. They're not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. Checking my oil. My oil is at adequate level. my transmission fluid. Is that adequate level? My power steering fluid tank is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. It's at adequate level. The cap is secure. All the hoses are not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My gear-driven air compressor and governor and gear-driven power steering pump are securely mounted not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no non-factory welds, and the hoses are not leaking. My steering shaft is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It moves freely. There are no non-factory welds. It is properly lubricated and the rubber is not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. 
My gearbox is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no non-factory welds, and it is properly lubricated. My pitman arm, drag link, and steering arm are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, castle nuts, or cotter keys. They are not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent, and they are all properly lubricated. In the way back, my tie rod and knuckle are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. Castle nuts are cotter keys. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. There are no non-factory welts. My shock is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My frame is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent, and there are no non-factory welds. My leaf spring hanger, spring leaves, two U-bolts and nuts are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. U-bolts or nuts, it's not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or shifted. There are no non-factory welds. My ABS line and wiring is securely mounted with their couplings. The hoses are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My air brake chamber is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My slack adjuster is at a 90 degree angle. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, pins, or retainers. It is properly lubricated and it gives no more than an inch give. The inner seal is securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My brake pad is at adequate level. My brake drum is securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, or broken, or bent. My inner rim is securely mounted, not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. My inner tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My tire tread is wearing even. My tire depth is no less than 4 30 seconds. It is not a recap or a retread. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer rim is securely mounted, not cracked, chipped, or broken. My lug nuts are all secure. We're not missing any lug nuts, and there's no rust to indicate looseness. My outer seal is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My metal valve stem and cap is secure. My tire is at adequate pressure. Would you like me to check? The instructor said no. My mud flap is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and my mud flap is not worn, torn, or frayed. And that completes under the hood. Starting on the side of the bus, I have my two amber and one red clearance light. My red reflector and amber reflector are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My emergency exit windows, lettering, reflective tape, my four inch school bus lettering and bus number are all securely mounted. Clean, clear, visible, not worn, torn, or frayed. My windows are all securely mounted. They are not cracked, chipped, 
or broken. There are no illegal stickers. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My fuel door opens and closes securely. My cap is secure. There's no signs of vandalism or tampering, and it is not leaking. My frame, flooring, and cross ties are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. There's no holes in my flooring, and there are no non-factory welds in my frame. My exhaust pipe and hangers are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My exhaust is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or shifted. There's no soot to indicate leaking. My drive shaft is securely mounted with the safety loops. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. And all the joints are properly lubricated. My differential is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My air brake chambers and hoses are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My hoses are all secure. They're not worn, torn, frayed, or leaking. My leaf spring hanger, leaf springs, U-bolts and nuts are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, U-bolts or U-nuts. They're not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or shifted, and there are no non-factory welds. My slack adjuster is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, screws, pins, or retainers. It's at a 90 degree angle. It is properly lubricated and gives no more than one inch give. My inner seal is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My brake pad is at adequate level. My brake drum is securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. My inner rim is securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. My inner tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. There's nothing in between my dual tires. My tread wears even. There's no less than two 30 seconds of tread depth. It's not a recap or a retread. My outer tire has no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. My outer rim is securely mounted. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. My lug nuts are all secure, not missing any lug nuts. And there's no rust to indicate looseness. My outer seal is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, bent, or leaking. My two metal valve and caps are all secure. My tire is at adequate pressure. My tire is at adequate pressure. Would you like me to check? The instructor said no. My mud flap is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My mud flap is not worn, torn, or frayed. My shocks are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, broken, or leaking. My frame, flooring, and cross beams are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. There's no holes in my flooring, and there are no non-factory welds. My fuel tank and cage are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. There are no non-factory welds, and there's no rust to indicate leaking.
my five red clearance lights, two red loading lights, two amber warning lights, two amber turn signal and four-way lights, two red brake lights, and two red tail lights, two clear reverse lights, two clear license plates lights, and two red reflectors are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My eight inch school bus lettering, emergency door lettering, and reflective tape are all clean, clear, visible, not worn, torn, or frayed. My windows are all securely mounted. They are not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no illegal stickers. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My license plate is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's clean, clear, visible, and up to date. My exhaust pipe extends beyond the back of the bus, and there's no obstructions in my exhaust pipe. My emergency door opens and latches securely. My seal is intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My kit cage is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. My flooring is clean and clear. It's not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there are no burrs or sharp edges. My emergency door unlatches and closes securely. So I'm gonna ask the instructor to stay in the back of the bus while I go to the front inside to do the back lights check. So I'm gonna go in the bus and close my door. I'm going to put the key in the ignition, turn it to run to do a safe start. Let my gauges sweep. And then start my bus. I'm going to close my door. I'm going to start from the top down with my amber, my red clearance lights. And I'm going to press my amber warning lights to activate my warning lights. Open my door to activate my load, red loading lights. Close my door. I'm going to turn on my four ways. My left turn signal. My right turn signal. I'm going to press my brake to activate my brake lights. I'm going to put my bus into reverse and wait for the audible beep. Put my bus into neutral and to let the instructor know that I finished, I'm gonna beat my horn twice. She's gonna to come to the door. I'm gonna open up the door. I'm gonna tell her that all of my internal light switch were working properly and that I did hear the audible beep when I put my bus into reverse. I'm going to ask her if she wants to come on the bus while I do my front lights check or, or does she want to go out front. She's choosing to come on the bus. I'm going to close my door starting from the top down while looking through my cross view mirrors. I'm going to start from the top down 
I'm going to turn on my amber clearance lights. Press my amber warning lights. I'm going to open my door to activate my red loading lights along with my stop sign and my cross arm. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to do my four ways while watching each side to make sure all the lights are on. My left turn signal, side and hood to make sure they're flashing. Right side, side and hood to make sure they're flashing. I'm going to pull and activate my high beams and low beams. When I'm complete, I'm going to press the horn, beep the horn twice to indicate that I've completed the test. Turn the bus off. Take my keys with me. Walking back, I'm going to check to make sure there's no children or obstructions in my seats. And I'm going to hit my child reminder button, which will disarm the alarm. I'm now going to go to the front of the bus to start the inside. So I'm going to open up the door. The door opens and closes securely. The door is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The glass is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no illegal stickers. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My steps are clean, clear, invisible. They're not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws, and there are no burrs or sharp edges. My step sign are clean, clear, visible, not worn, torn, or frayed. My step light is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not cracked, chipped, broken, no discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My step railing is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. My fire extinguisher is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is up to date in the green and has its pin and retainer. My body fluid cleanup kit is securely mounted and it is full with its pin to indicate that it is. My first aid kit is securely mounted and it is full with its pin to indicate that it is. My three red triangles are securely mounted and I have all three red triangles. I have extra fuses behind here if I need them. My registration and insurance is up to date and visible. My emergency door handle and instructions along with my school bus instructions are clean, clear, and visible. My aisleway and tread is all clean and clear. There are no missing nuts, bolts, or screws. There are no burrs or sharp edges. Put my bus into run, put my strobe light on. The seats are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They are not cracked, chipped, broken, or bent. The bottom of the seats are securely latched. So my emergency exit hatch lettering and instructions are all clean, clear, visible, not worn, torn, or frayed. To exit, I'm going to open the emergency door hatch. The alarm will sound. I'm going to look at my strobe light. My strobe light is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not cracked, chipped, broken. There's no discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. The emergency hatch latches and closes securely. My emergency exit window, lettering, and instructions are not worn, torn, or frayed. My emergency window opens and closes securely.
My emergency exit door, lettering, and instructions are clean, clear, visible, not worn, torn, or frayed. My emergency exit door opens. The alarm sounds and latches. My emergency exit door unlatches. closes securely. The backs of my seat braces are secure and do not collapse. There are no objects or children in my aisle or seat. I have my bus already in the run position so it already did a safe start. I'm going to turn my bus on. My seat is positioned for me. My seat belt is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It's not worn, torn, or frayed. My seat belt is not worn, torn, or frayed. And my seat belt latches and unlatches securely. My camera box is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. The wires are not worn, torn, frayed, or burnt. My driver's side window opens and closes securely. The glass is not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no illegal stickers. My side view mirrors and my cross view mirrors are all securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My windshield is securely mounted. It's not cracked, chipped, or broken. There are no illegal stickers. My dash is clean and clear with no obstructions. My driver windshield visor and passenger viewing mirror is securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. It is not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My panel lights, my noise activation is working properly. My mirror heat works properly. My high and low defrost fans are working properly. My heat is working properly. My amber warning lights came on and are working properly. My driver and passenger dome lights are all working properly. The lights are securely mounted, not missing any nuts, bolts, or screws. They're not cracked, chipped, or broken. No discoloration or condensation. The seals are intact, not worn, torn, or frayed. My strobe light was working properly, my internal and external speaker is working properly, and my AC, high and low, is working properly. All of my panel lights were working properly during the window, during the lights check. My radio is working properly. Both my red loading and amber warning lights did come on when doing the lights test. My parking brake is set. My internal intercom is working properly. My CB radio is working properly. And both the driver, heat, and AC is working properly. My ABS light did come on and go off when I turned the bus on. My oil pressure is at adequate temperature. My water temperature is adequate. My transmission temperature is adequate. My RPMs are working properly. My mileage is visible and my volts are at 14. My fuel is at adequate and my primary and secondary air pressure is adequate. I've test the mileage when I do the five mile an hour test. My windshield wipers, high and low, are working properly. My 20 inch steering wheel gives no more than two inch give. My transmission
runs smoothly, my horn is working properly. So for the air brakes test, I'm going to shut the bus off, turn it to the run position, press in my parking brake, hold my service brake, and I should not lose more than three PSI in one minute. So turning off the bus, turn it to run, holding, pressing my parking brake and holding my service brake. I'm gonna watch my air pressure gauge and I should not lose more than three PSI in one minute. I'm now going to fan my service brake <laughs> and when the needle gets between 55 and 60 PSI, my warning light and buzzer will go off. And it did. When it gets between 20 and 40 PSI, my parking brake will pop out. And it did. I'm now going to start my bus. It's already in the run position and did a safe sweep. And we're going to gain PSI. Between 55 and 60 PSI, my warning light and buzzer will go off. And it did. Between 120 to 140 PSI, my air pressure will cut out. And it did. I'm now going to turn off the bus and go remove my chalk blocks for my high hold test. high holds test, so I'm now going to close the door, put my seatbelt on, put my bus into the run position to do a safe start, wait for my gauges to sweep, start my bus. I'm gonna make sure that my parking brake is set, put my bus into the drive position Press on the accelerator to test that the parking brake is holding, and it is. Put my bus into neutral. Now I'm going to perform the five mile an hour test where I will test my miles per hour and that my service brake is holding, doesn't hesitate or pull to the left or to the right. So. I'm gonna put my bus into drive, release my parking brake, check my mirrors. I'm gonna go five miles an hour. And then hit my service brake. My brake did not hesitate and there was no pull to the left or to the right. My miles per hour did register that I was going five miles an hour and it is working properly. Thanks for watching the Winchester Public Schools CDL training video and good luck.